Yo, what is up guys? Hope y'all are having a great day today, as always. <clears throat> and today I'm going to be going fishing and at the Ross Barnett Reservoir. And um, I'm going to be mainly targeting catfish and bass. Today would be the perfect day for catching fish because it's like 78 degrees outside. I just checked it. So uh, yeah, today I'm going to be using my Shimano Sienna 2500. Rod and reel combo. Oh, I just hit my light. Okay, that sucks. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be using um my Shimano Sienna 2500 rod and reel combo. It's been really good so lately, um because the cast is just amazing, and it, whenever you reel, it just feels like butter. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys whenever we get to the river. See ya. Just got a bite on his and as you can see we got all these bobbers out i think my dad just got a fish yep let's check it reel it in dad reel it in that looks it's a blue cat boys it's a pretty good fish pretty good size one if you ask me nice all right well you caught him you got to put him in the bucket now so Alright guys, now I just gotta wait on these two hooks to go under. So, I mean corks, whatever, same thing. And that's when we'll be doing good boys. So, yeah, see you guys whenever I get some bites. So far we got three, we got three corks out there. And uh, we're just gonna wait until we get a bite. And uh, hopefully we'll have at least, yeah, hopefully we'll have at least eight before the end of the day. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll get back to you whenever we start catching some today. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we caught a couple more fish, and I couldn't get those on camera because we were in the middle of the moment, and that lo that cork looks like it's about to go under. And so, yeah, guys, I'll get back with you guys once I catch another fish. Sometimes we like to put these things on bank poles and we like to catch like big catfish on them. These are goldfish. Like they're pretty dang big if you ask me. Cause it's a pretty big one right there. This one's smaller. It's pretty it's a pretty big goldfish. So I thought I would show you this guy. You guys because well I think my dad's about to get hooked on one. Hold on. I'm gonna go over there. Cause that's my rod. That's one of my rods. Am I going to pull it? Dad! Alright, pull it. Film me, film me. Swarping. Yoink. <laughs> Where's the rest of that one? Uh, back in the room. Yeah, the that one gets to go back. back. Yeah. Film me on hooking. What if I get thin on camera? That'll be sick. Oh, God. Here, Jay. Give me, give me. He got off. Oh, my gosh. I caught one. So, yeah. I'll just put this. Put it back where it was. No, no, I'm just gonna put it a little bit closer. All right, guys. Back to what I was doing. Okay. All right. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. What? Hold the hook in one hand and to get the fish in the other, and you kind of have a little control of it. There you go. Get him. Like I showed you. Like this on You got him, brother. Put the, put the squeeze on him. Like this? Yeah, squeeze him. Alright. Pull that hook out of his mouth. Just like that. And then grab his back to thin me. Okay. Those right there will hurt you. Yep. Gotta get these. All right, I think I've almost got this one out. 
Grab the uh, bottom part of it. There you go. There go. You got it. All right, guys. Well, pretty small. We're going to let him go. Oh. You want to go in there? <laughs> He's wanting to go Pick in him there. up and throw him in the river. Hey, chill. All right. Grab him correct. There you go. Like that? Yep. There you go. I caught another fish off camera. Yeah, it was a little bit too small to put on camera. It was like Two about small that big. Ones in a row, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, once I catch another one, I will get back to you guys. <laughs> this is my Shimano Sienna 2500 right now. This is the one I'm about to reel in. So hopefully it'll go under. So I can get fish on camera for you guys. This fish is picky. He's a picky eater. He's biting it and letting go. Biting it and letting go. Well, when he does pull it under, I'll get back to you. So. Ah, wait, no, it's actually. I don't know. We can get a slab off of him, maybe, if we're lucky. Yeah, he's a pretty good size. You think we can get him? I think he's a throwback. All right, well, I'll lay him down and chunk him back, boys. So keep recording, Dad, and I will get this guy off the hook. You're just now starting to bite, guys, so we're about to have a lot more action than we have had so far. So I'm going to go over here and show you all the corks that we have out and uh here's one right here it's that i think that's my that's my shakespeare that i have that one on so um and then i have another one over there sitting right beside it that's my shimano and then that one is um just a little one we bought whenever i was like 10 and then we got my uncles over there so yeah, guys, hope you enjoy. And, um, uh, yeah, just like I've been saying, if I catch another one, I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, we're about to pack up and go. We caught four fish today. Most of them were just, most of them were just pretty good sized ones. But we caught a lot more than that. We just kept four. But, uh, we caught a lot more than that. We caught like 10 or 15. Um, so. Yeah, this may be like a catch and cook video. I'm not sure. Whenever we get home, I might cook them or something. I'm not sure. So, you never know, guys. So, hope you guys have a good day. And, um, it turns out that we are doing a catch and cook. So, that it, I'm just getting the rods out of the truck. Turns out we are doing a catch and cook. My dad's about to start cleaning the fish. And I'll get one of those on the camera for you guys and if you don't like that kind of stuff skip to this part of the video right now if you don't like that kind of stuff because i don't want to make you guys feel bad or anything or feel sick so yeah guys i'll get back to those cleaning fish i'm gonna put this one in my room because i don't like to put this one in the shed for some reason i don't know why i'm weird i'll get to cleaning fish now oh yeah guys my dad's about to clean a fish i'm only gonna get one on camera because we gotta um do them kind of fast so it doesn't get dark on us so he's about to clean this one i'll film it for you guys and then we'll go inside and start cooking them up back up you don't want to get none of this on yeah right. your watchers there your viewers <laughs>
can probably get a good amount of meat off of that, probably. So. got two already and uh well i'm just gonna finish filming and um yeah we're gonna go inside and start cooking them up for you guys down to the bone mm -hmm. come up the bone but don't cut the bone yeah get to right there where the rib cage starts okay come down the side of that bone up here all right down to the rib cage and you kind of just roll it out all right that rib cage comes out like this so you just kind of yeah lay like that right. and it doesn't hurt to leave some on the bone and miss it if you need to okay you want to try it yeah i guess i can try it so all right can make you a cut right there all right right here yeah then what do i gotta do now come up the rip come up the bones there you go just let it let the bone be the there you go come all the way up just like you're doing. Angle it, angle your knife down toward the bone. There you go. Keep this end of the knife down. All right, flip it up. Flip it up. Okay. Carry that knife down there. All right. Got it like I've got it right there? Yeah. And it takes practice. Here, let me show you something. Let me All show right. you right quick on this. All right. You can do the next one. Look, kind of right. keep your knife and you gotta slide that thing up, you know, yeah. to cut it. Now, see, I've come down that rib cage. Yeah. That bone's coming out, so I'm gonna carry my knife out like this. Okay. It's easier to see it on a big one, too. Okay. Here, you do the next one. All right. I'm gonna get this big one. There go you go. Big one. Go big or go home, right? Yep. All right, so. Mm -hmm. Gonna make this easy cut right here. There you go. Keep your hand like over this too if you want to. Like there that. you go. Because you're going under. And if you cut your hand, just go ow real loud. <laughs> okay. Here, watch me on this side and I'll show okay. you. The other. Watch. Nothing wrong. You gotta learn. Look. Yeah. I know. See how you just kind of go up that, go up that backbone. I yeah. messed that one up, didn't I? It's fine. Doing better than I was. All right, and then you bring it up here. You go down, just like you're cutting the tenderloin out of a deer almost. Okay. And when you get down to the bottom, just kind of work that fish out like that. And the bigger fish, again, are easier than this. Yeah. But just one thing about these, they are good. Yep. Smaller ones are always the best because they have the more, more tender meat. All right, you do that All side. Right. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Whatever you do is fine, so do your best. Just right. There you go. Let me show you something else. Okay. Bring it to the edge. That way your hand can be oh, parallel yeah. with a fish. Okay. There you go. Right, look, you're cutting through bone there. Oh, yeah. Go there you go. There right. you go. Come on, come on, come on. Keep doing that. Come on. All right. Flip him up like, like I did. Cut down right through there. You got it? Mm hmm Here, put your hands over him like this. Okay. There you and then go. Cut through. You feel that rib cage at the bottom? You kind of flat yeah, out. Yeah, I feel it. You got this. I'm going to let you do the other two and get out of your way. Is that good? That's fine. Don't worry about that. Okay. Put that in there and I'll get the rest of this. Well, Put it, that's good enough, I guess. There's nothing wrong. Watch me, though. Watch me get the rest. <laughs> All right. See that meat right there? Uh-huh. All you it. got, if you'll angle it toward those bones from out here, it'll go down there. And it's easier when it's a little bigger fish, too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> See there? Just kind of go down in there on them bones. 
and you don't want any bones in your fillet anyway, so it's better to leave than, than get it all. See there? Another little bit. Yep. As many as we caught today, every little bit counts. Yep. So, I'm gonna start on this one. Look, you don't have to be so far back either because there's not any meat there anyway. Okay. So wherever, you, wherever it works for you. There you go. And again, slide that knife and it'll do better. Saw, there you go. Don't push a knife, you can only saw it, right? Mm -hmm. hmm. Is that more? You're doing good. All right, I was just wondering if I was hitting bone You're doing knife. great. Now you're starting to, let me show you what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, I think I hit the bone. Let, let me show you what something. you're doing. What you're doing, you're starting to pick your knife up. Yeah. You really got to be back down Smooth. here. See how high? Uh -huh. Keep your handle. Okay. Kind of work it like that. When you got in a situation, just go on and bring him up here. And let's leave them bones in there. Man, this is a small catfish, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. See there? Yep. Look, on this one, yeah. go ahead and make your cut up here first. See if that works better for you. All right. So it'll be There's no like, wrong way to do it. Okay. I've seen a bunch of people on YouTube and stuff like do it like this. And then you can come up from the beside. I to almost cut myself. If you cut yourself, just scream real loud. Look, you don't cut with a point. You cut like with a... This. There you go. All right. Okay, I think I'm gonna... Let me, let me okay. help you a minute. Right. Watch this, watch this. Watch this. I I'm think I messed that one up. That's all right. It takes a You'll get a lot of practice. And I'll get easy for you. Get over here at the edge. Whenever we go jug fishing and we get one of those 20 or 30 pound ones, it'll be easy for you to do that. Yeah, guys, stay tuned, and we will have you a jug fishing video pretty much this summer, probably. And uh, that is one of the most funnest ways to catch catfish, in my opinion. Um, we're going to be out on the boat, and we're going to um, throw out some homemade jugs that we made. Um, they will float, and whenever the catfish bites the big hook on it, it will pull it under. You and it'll well, be yeah. bouncing up and down, yeah. And it'll be bouncing up and down, and that's how you'll tell, like, if you got a catfish on or not. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned to my channel if you want to see that this summer. Comment down below if you do, too. So, all right. Thank you. Quick. I've done a lot of them, man. Yeah. To learn. <laughs> this is how you learn. You don't learn by watching somebody else. You got to get in there and get your hands dirty. Mm -hmm. That's the last filet right there. We don't need that much for a catch and cook anyway, so. Why don't you do the cooking and I'll get out of your way. <laughs> All right. I'll just eat, how about that? Okay, sounds good. All right guys, hope you enjoyed that little filet. Now we're gonna be cooking these filets up in the, in the kitchen and uh, yeah. What's up guys, we're gonna cook these fish up in just a few minutes. We got the batter right here and we got the fish sitting right here. So I'm gonna rinse these fish off and I'm gonna put them in the batter. So yeah guys, let's get let's get started. Hey, before you do that, won't you turn your grease on let it be good? Uh, what do I need to turn it to? Put it between six and seven. Okay. Hope I don't blow up the house. Oh, yeah, terrible. don't do that. Alright. I think I did it. Right. Did I do it right? Alright. Cool. So take this one, rinse it off. Get over here where I can see. Put it in here. I'm just gonna repeat the process. Leave the water running kind of real. There you go. Alright, so we're
All right, guys, so we're gonna get this batter on these fish right now, and we're gonna get them um, in the batter, and we're gonna get them cooked up in just a second, so. Well, now, guys, I've got the clippers, or whatever they're called, and I've got the catfish, so I'm gonna start putting this in the grease while it's hot, and I'm gonna start making them fry. Just to notify you, if I burn myself, don't be surprised, because I'm not a professional. I just act like one. So, hopefully I don't burn myself. Um, yeah, hopefully I don't. Alright, that should be pretty good. And then throw this one in there. Oop, barely got that one. Alright, oh, okay guys. Lay this one down very gently in the grease. And this one over here. Two more to go. Should be enough for a catch and cook, I would assume. And then one more. Wait, no, actually two more, my bad. <laughs> one hiding under this other one. So yeah, one more piece of fish to go in the grease. Okay, the cameraman's gonna zoom in on yeah. And after they get done cooking, I will get footage of them while they're cooked already, and I'll get footage of them, and I'll tell you how good they are after I get done cooking them. So, yeah. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna move these around a little bit, space them out, and uh, they're almost ready to flip, so, um, which means they're almost done also. So I'm gonna space them out a little bit so you can give them some room to cook, and so, space that out. Should be good to go from now. Is that good? Alright, well. Alright, well, I think I'm done flipping them, and I'll be right back when they're done. It's time to flip them. Um, I'm gonna flip them, and they'll be done in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna flip them over so, so the other side can cook pretty well. And then pick this up. Uh oh. It's kinda hard, to be honest. They're still swimming, aren't they? Yep. Born to swim. I don't know. Yeah. Oh gosh. I told you. I'm not I was running from you. I told you I'm not a professional. I just That's act right, like that. That's right. That'll be good. <laughs> Get those others right there and you'll be good. Alright, that's all of them. Be ready in just a few minutes. Yep. Fine. And I'll get back to you guys whenever it's ready. Well guys, the catfish is done, so I'm going to take them up and I'm going to turn the grease on medium so it can um, be ready for hush puppies. So I'm going to turn this down to medium. And then I got my squeezers. And then I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to shake them off a little bit. And then I'm just going to set them really easy right here. Look over here where I can see the action. One more piece to go. Oh, wait, never mind. Two more pieces, just like me laying them in there. All right. Well, that's it. Drop those hush puppies in there. They'll be ready okay. in just a few minutes. I'm going to drop these hush puppies in there. And let those cook. Those seem to pop a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Come back up. Look like goodness to me. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm done with that and 
and I will get back to you guys whenever I'm eating these, and I'll give you a review on them. Hey right, guys, well, we got the catfish right here. We're about to eat the catfish, and um, hopefully it's good. It was my first time ever doing a catching cook on this channel, and um, Need a little bit. yeah, it might be hot, so I'm going to use a little bit of ketchup. A little bit of ketchup always solves things. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to try this out and tell you how it is. It's pretty good. How's it, Dad? Mm-hmm. It's good. Real yeah. good. Well, I'm going to finish eating this, you guys, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Peace out.